Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. It is no secret that Alpha 3.10 has had issues with missiles being a bit overpowered and frequently used to spam people and Cloud Imperium have told us that there is a big old missile overhaul planned for early 2021. However, there are plans for some changes in Alpha 3.11, the next major patch to missiles and countermeasures to hopefully put ship combat in a much better place. In fact, Cloud Imperium have said in a recent, very recent 3.11 missiles and countermeasure update post that there are improvements and bugs coming to 3.11 that are not on the roadmap. So what are these changes? I will read them as exactly as they appear from the Star Citizen vehicle team as to not to lose anything and then we'll talk about it a little bit. Missiles. The missiles themselves have numerous changes to support more interesting gameplay and avoid frustrations of Alpha 3.10. One, we only allow four simultaneous locks at the same time now. Additionally, you can only lock one missile per rack. This means that ships with more missile racks will be able to utilize more locks and launching multiple missiles will be better distributed across the ship. That makes 100% sense, doesn't it? Because uh, you can't have multiple missiles coming out of the same tube at exactly the same time or anything, and it would take time to load it and, and to relock more missiles, and I, I like that idea. Two, the locking process has changed. If a pilot allows a target to fly outside the locking cone, the missile will disarm itself and the locking process must be reinitiated. That might be a good idea. It might not. It might make missiles really, really hard to use. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Three, missiles no longer have persistent knowledge about their target. If a pilot successfully evades a missile, it will try to relock rather than immediately heading towards the target. If unsuccessful, it will detonate after some time. Four, players can only fire one missile type at a time. If a player has a valid missile lock but decides to swap to a different type, from ignites to arresters for example, all existing locks will be cancelled. Five, missiles will now react properly to countermeasures. That's a good one. That's <laughs> countermeasures working is great. Uh, so countermeasures, we decided to step away from the existing countermeasure management to allow more interesting gameplay choices. The most significant difference compared to Alpha 3.10 is that the player does not select a specific countermeasure for a specific seeker type anymore. Instead, the player decides how the missile should be countered. This is done by either launching a decoy or deploying a noise field. These are just working titles as they're still determining the law behind the tech and looking for the appropriate names. One. A decoy is an object that effectively creates a powerful signal source that missiles are attracted to. In Alpha 3.11, all missile types will react to decoys to varying degrees. Of course, a decoy has a limited time in which it is active. Once a decoy is burnt out, an incoming missile will try and regain a lock onto its original target. You can even try to use your own countermeasures to protect your friends in another ship with this method. I really like that. That makes a load of sense. That sounds cool. Differing sort of degrees of success with decoys and they might be quite expensive, I suppose, compared to, to other types of countermeasure. Two, a noise field creates a small space in which signatures are actively distorted and jammed. A ship deploying a noise field fires a small projectile that explodes and spreads out tiny particles that confuse sensors, regardless of whether they are based on EM, IR, or CS signatures. If the ship's signature is low enough, a pilot can even hide out in that cloud. However, this will also actively jam the ship's sensors, so radar contacts will disappear. Missiles are affected by this in the same way, of course. To me, that sounds very similar. A decoy, one, uh, very similar to a flare, and two, a noise field, seems very similar to a chaff, um, but they've sort of like redefined exactly what they are and what they kind of do and expanded it out a bit more. Three, bigger ships like the Carrack have larger countermeasures with longer and stronger effects. That sort of makes sense. Uh, four, all key bindings concerning countermeasures have been updated. We have removed the cycle key binds next previous countermeasure in favor of launching countermeasures directly. Of course, Cloud Imperium have moved the keys around. They, they love doing that, uh, but that's not actually that bad because they've just basically gone, uh, we're removing the cycle button and making it countermeasure. That makes sense. Um, five, countermeasure visual effects have also been updated and will now properly be replicated in the persistent universe. So there's also missile related HUD updates. To support the changes to missile gameplay, we've added and tweaked a couple of HUD widgets. One, we re-added an ammo indicator showing the number of available countermeasures at the bottom left of the HUD. Two, we've added a widget showing data about your currently selected missile, bottom right of the HUD. It shows what kind of seeker the missile has, how many missiles you have left on your ship, and the number of active missile locks you have. Three, 
The missile warning system has been extended. It will now show the estimated time to impact for each category of incoming missile. That will allow you to better strategize how you want to combat an incoming missile. So Cloud Imperium are also keen to get players feedback once they've tried those changes and general ship combat in Alpha 3.11, whether that be in the PTU or live builds. Um, hopefully the PTU will go uh, to first wave pretty soon. So those changes are pretty pretty good like on paper i absolutely love what's going on there it, and that sounds like a big missile overhaul to me so what have they got planned for for later in 2021 that's going to be considered a larger overhaul i suppose they could entirely redo the sort of um uh, intelligent flight computer system stuff that the uh, missiles have because they've got quite a derpy version of, of flight mechanics um, maybe they'll be doing stuff like that maybe they'll do, be doing a much better sort of signal signature stuff that sort of um, makes sense but um yeah really looking forward to the big overhaul but this smaller 3.11 overhaul addresses a huge range of the problems that i have with missiles now what really remains to be seen is how powerful missiles still are are uh, am i able to just reclaim a ship and get all my missiles back and when i use those missiles is missile spam the most effective way of dealing with anyone still um how effective are countermeasures all this sort of stuff it's a uh, a uh, a lot of this on paper sounds great, but if missile spam is still a thing where I can just go, I want this problem to go away, this player is uh, actively better than me, I'm just going to chuck a boat ton of missiles at him, um, and he disappears, and then I can reclaim my ship and get my missiles back, that's not, that's not great, that's not a great gameplay loop for anyone. Missiles need to be useful and effective in some situations. Uh, they need to be not too weak, but not too powerful. And they need to be relatively expensive to use, so you're not using them constantly. Um, and they need to be very counterable. So um, I think we've got quite a lot of that potentially there from what Cloud Imperium said. But I'm interested to know what you think. Do you think these changes go far enough to address the issues in the short term? Do you think we'll see a lot more competitive PvP because of that in 3.11? Or is there a huge amount more that needs to be done? Is it irrelevant um, at the moment largely to you because you're waiting for Star Citizen to be more complete as a game before jumping in or um, before you judge the combat? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What am I shilling for today, I hear you ask? Do you hate it when people steal all of your money and your house over the internet? I know I do. NordVPN may have been invented by wizards to help protect your personal data from the prying eyes of the dark web, a sinister cabal of technomancers that grow in power the more they know about your browsing habits. The true story of NordVPN's origins are unknown and lost to the ages, and without using facts. No one really knows how it provides more accessibility to otherwise censored websites or a safer security experience for all that use it. All I know is that it does and that when you sign up to it the power level of my bank account grows and I use it and maybe you should too. Every month we have a giveaway for a Star Citizen ship. For this month of September, it's for the Talon Night Fighter, the Battlebird Glass Cannon. Just comment on any of my videos made during September 2020 to be in for a chance of winning that. That ship should be flyable by the end of the year. If you'd like to further support the channel, there is Patreon or YouTube channel memberships via the join button down below. That will net you some exclusive content each month, but sharing videos, liking, subscribing, dinging the bell, as well as commenting and giving feedback really does help the channel to grow and give me an idea of what you guys want. Thanks very much for watching. You take care and I'll see you in the verse.